Why, hello there. I'm Meg. Welcome to Decor It Yourself. One room you spend a surprising amount of time in is your baño, loo, bathroom. Over on the forums, Izzy Loves Cake and Penguin wrote in asking for decor help in their restrooms. Amy Loves Trees has towel overload and needs ways to use them. AIM33M suggests braiding them together to make a rug. So this week, we're making a DIY bath mat. Take your old towels in whatever colors or sizes you have. Measure how long and wide you want your rug to be and leave about two inches extra around the perimeter. Now take a pair of scissors and start cutting your strips. My strips are five inches wide. You'll want all of your strips to be the exact same width. Carefully cut out all of your strips. Now take the horizontal strips and lay them out flat. Now cut your vertical strips. Carefully cut out all of your strips as straight as possible. Take your vertical strips and start weaving them together, one at a time, like so. Over, under, over, under, and repeat. Now take your pins and pin along the way to keep all of the strips together. Weave all of your pieces together, pulling the fabric taut and pinning along the way. Once you have all of your pieces woven together, you'll finish the edges by folding the extra flaps under and pinning. You'll then sew these closed so that the rug is finished on each side making it reversible. Make sure your woven rug is pinned and secure, and then bring that puppy over to the sewing machine. You're going to sew in a grid pattern. Sew the perimeter of your rug first, then sew a line down each and every woven strip. Do this vertically and horizontally. Sew until every single square is secured by a top stitch. And voila! You have a brand new bath mat. There's a pin. Make sure you get all pins out. We'll be right back. Check out how Nestor Kells Bells crocheted her old towels together to create a brand new bath mat of her own. Recycled and fabulous. Go check out Go Go Distro and see how Emily August has a cool tutorial of a fabric covered scale. Still have extra towels? Learn from Autumn Cannibalism and make your own bath towel robe. Looks cozy. Over on Instructables, Noah shows us how to never run out of toilet paper in an offbeat kind of way. All right, this is my restroom. Uh, I'm sure one thing you'll notice right away is that I'm a pretty big 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea fan. That's from Disneyland, the exhibit in the 50s. Over here we have, this is the poster from the ride, the extinct ride at Disney World. Schematics from the blueprints of the submarine. Uh, lots of squid stuff is very fun. The Goonies map, can't miss that. This is from the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride in Tokyo. This is a certificate from a guy who used to work on the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea ride in Florida. This is an original crew member's hat pin. Nemo's badge recovered from the wreck of the Nautilus. It's real, it's real, it's real. This is a model of the, the ride submarine and the model of the submarine from the movie. These are coins from the ride in Disney World. This is an actual seahorse from the ride in Disney World that a guy, when it was being demolished, pulled out for me. And this is a commemorative coin that this guy here made. And they're only for people who were crew members on the ride, but I'm the one exception. Uh, this is some lighting I put in recently, which I really like at night when you don't want the big glaring light on. Monterey Bay Aquarium makes great sea models. This is a like wave light maker that I ordered from Japan. That it has to be totally black in here, but it makes like you know waves on the ceiling. This is a Chinese spouting bowl. <laughs> This I found at Home Depot. This was a really hard one to find because I, I happen to have an elongated toilet. The overhand and underhand rolls. Uh, overhand is always ahead. I think it's just the uh, scientifically superior way to go. And some classic 
amazing pop up stuff. This is seaweed from the 20th Anniversary Center of the Sea Ride. And uh, you can go learn more about all of that at 20kride.com. This week's quick tip use vinegar as an all natural toilet bowl cleaner. Just pour, let sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and flush. Now you have a clean toilet without adding any chemicals into the water. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to leave us a comment below or go ahead and send me a photo or video of your home decor projects. Until next week, remember, your nest needs you.